get element by ID method. Practical exercise number two. In this exercise, we will check the mark here is greater than or equal 80 or no. And depending, depending on this mark, I display the result. Pass or failed or try again, so on. Okay, now here I have a label. Enter your mark here and input its type is text box. I have more time here, control space like this, button color date more. Okay, I need here text to enter the mark. Okay, then I, I want to add a button to invoke the method from JavaScript file by using on click event. Here, I add, for example, get result. Or result. Okay, and parentheses like this. But at first, I have to add an ID here. ID. Okay, this ID ext1 stands for the first text box in my page. Okay, now the result. Get result function will get the value from input text. Will get the value from input text from this text box. And will display the result in a heading or a paragraph or any element in HTML. For example, I display the result pass or try again in H4, for example, or H3 or H1 paragraph as you like. Okay. For example, H2 here, its ID to catch the current element and set value for this element. Okay, here its ID is, for example, H2. Okay. Now go to the JavaScript file and JavaScript file from here, the plural. Yes, new file my file or my js okay dot js okay here add a function same name is sensitive okay number one i want to catch the first element in my html page this element is the input this text box. What its ID? ID ext1. Okay, here I declare a variable var number one, parent number, for example, parent number, okay, equal document dot get element by ID. Okay, open parentheses between double or single quotation. Write the ID case sensitive. Okay, ext1. Okay, ext1. I need its values, so I have to write to dot. Sorry, I have to write dot value. Yeah, like this. Then semicolon. Sorry, value. Here I catch the current value inside txt1, okay, inside the text box. Here, the next step, I'll check up the current value you by using the ternary expression, okay, here, var, okay, now my result, my result, equal. And between parentheses, okay, or no, as you like, and a ternary expression here, for example. Huh. I want to check up this value. So if current number, current number, greater than or equal 80, it's okay. Now add a question mark. If it's true, Right, for example, pass. Column. If this 
expression equal false right here for display on the page please try again please try again okay now Now I check up the current number inside txt1 and save the result. If this result equal true, pass or equal false, please try again. Okay. In the polls, I'd save pass or please try again in my result variable. So now in the next step, I display this value inside the h2 inside the h2 with the h2 id okay now write the following code here please document dot get element by id between single number quotation write h2 now I want to set values so inner HTML equal huh. the current result here here write what my result why is this so I can add parentheses here or no as you like the deterrent expression save pass or try again in my result then set this result inside h2 or heading two. Okay, now try refresh the page and write here. Now the button without text. Here, go to the button. After the opening tag, right here, for example, we click here. Click. Okay. Refresh now the text box and the pattern in in the same line you can add here break after the pattern sorry after the text box break yes like this to go to the second line okay now try 70 for example click now nothing why because we didn't make the connection code between the html page and javascript Code here, right? Script 30. Okay, now right here the JavaScript file name my.js. Right. Now go to the page, refresh, and try again 70 and click here. Please try again 80. Pass because we wrote here greater than or equal. So 80, it's okay. Now if I write 79 please try again now we have finished the second example using the get element by id and we use here also the ternary expression thank you